Here we are once again with the evil scientist Bob and Wilson. And as you can see, they're in a bit of a pickle right now. So we're just gonna say that Bob owes some people some money between the mafia, a couple hitmen, uh, the pirates. He opened up an illegal credit card at Amazon. And yeah, he's done a lot of stuff that has finally caught up with them because they've been captured by pirates. So, I think it's time for Bob to pay. So Bob's not much of a bargaining type, but he's uh, trying to explain the situation and the whole fact that he's gonna pay everything back. At least he thinks he is. So I don't think the bosses are buying this and they've got a little experiment they're gonna do. Uh-oh. Um, that's not good. I bet you that's heating up the water. Huh, this doesn't actually seem to be making the uh, water that hot, but it makes the metal hot. Hmm, you know, I think we're gonna need a little bit more help. Also, by the way, we're gonna dunk Wilson. There you go, Wilson. Yep, Wilson's not a big fan of this. All right, with a little bit of magic, we're gonna kick up that ambient temp just a wee bit. Ah, there we go. That's more like an, oh, okay, everybody's, oh, uh-oh. Uh, well, I think they went a little high on it. Uh, everybody's passed out from heat exhaustion. Um, this is fine. All right, so we'll just, uh, we'll lower Wilson there and, Oh, oh, that's not pretty. Um, is everybody okay? Seems like messing with the temp was actually a bad experiment. Alright, so we're back in People Playground once again. It seems like the Hitman boss has uh, bit the dust over here, and the pirates have passed out. Bob's also out at the moment too, but Wilson, he seems to be in good spirits. So today we're going to be doing some more experiments in the new update. Uh, this update is probably my favorite thing yet to come out in People Playground. And uh, I've got a couple other things I want to try, including some frozen lake things. I kind of want to go over to one of the acid maps and see if we can freeze people in that or maybe even make it boil. I'm curious. So we've got a lot to do today. Uh, also, we need to figure out how to clean up this mess. You know, uh, the scientist Bob will eventually wake up. Let's go ahead and... Oh, is this thing flammable? Oh, uh, we can heat this whole thing up and... Oh, look at that. You know, he's on a wooden pole, so he's actually protected here. What about Wilson? Oh, and he's on a piston. That should be made of metal. Oh, uh... Oh, this is fine. Oh, there it goes. You know, I was waiting for that to... Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay. Hey, cooled Bob off. You can't make the water boil by just trying to heat it up. It still has to come in contact. Oh, this is fine here. We'll just, uh, we're gonna melt Wilson. We're gonna get him down, actually. Uh, yeah, okay, he's good. Here, just, just, there we go. Just pull him in. But water will cool down uh, hot items. So it's kind of a, a weird give and take. So I really just kind of want to figure out where the boundaries are as far as what we can do with this. Now, another experiment I want to try out, and this was actually a good idea from somebody. Uh, this was uh, putting people into the water. And, uh, oh, is it still hot out here? Oh, I bet you that uh, the metal's still hot, isn't it? Oh, this is fine. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to stick some people in here. So I was curious about this. Let's go ahead and make it basically the Arctic in here. So let's go boop. Oh, so question is, is there any life left in these people? Somebody was asking that. I was like, you know, I don't know. Can you actually freeze somebody and bring them back without using syringes? Kind of like a, a one of those frozen chamber things. And by the way, how is this still on fire? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's a thing. So if somebody's half in water and it's frozen, you can rip off the top half. And then we can use their head as a hockey puck. Okay, we really need to hook something up to these people real quick. How dead are you? Let's go up and yep, dead as a doorknob. So if we heat you back up, can we reanimate you? Uh, let's try that. I think it was set at 18 degrees ambient. Let's go up. Nope, they are definitely dead. Uh, they're thawing out, but that is not a thing. You can't actually save somebody here. Okay, here's another question. All right, does everybody instantly freeze or can we have somebody half out of water? Uh, say something like here, let's pause it. We'll go boom. Actually, let's stick them a little further in. So we'll do something like that. There we go. And then we're going to freeze the environment again. Let's go negative. Let's try something not as extreme. All right, so it's negative 50 right now. So question is, are they dead? Oh, 
No, they're not dead. Okay, so they're actually half in and half out. By the way, we want to shut that off. There we go. <laughs> there's just a bob hanging out under here. By the way, another thing we missed from the last episode, there's a cooling element. Uh, I didn't actually play with that. Here, let's set this element. Let's set its target up to, let's go 25 Celsius. Uh, there might be a way to actually keep this person alive. So let's go boom. And uh, here we got a little experiment here. Let's set this over here. And we're going to hook this into you. Okay. All right. So they just have a rapid heart rate. They're not actually dying because of this. Now, what if we heated them up a little bit? At what point is this turn red? We might have to go 100 here. Come on, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're finally freezing. Oh, Paul, oh, we need to introduce some heat here. Wait, what's happening? Why did their heart rate go down to 69? Nice. Hold on, we're gonna save you, buddy. We're gonna put a little heat beside you. That way, maybe we can heat you back up. Here, let's do the heat up the heating element real quick. Is this doing anything for you? Is this making you toasty? Let's get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Huh? Is this... I don't know if this is actually helping or not. You know, surprisingly, this is not bad at all. We've only frozen the bottom half. So here, we're gonna go ahead and delete that real quick. All right, we're gonna have to give this guy a little yank here. Let's go. Oh! Oops. So yeah, the ice indeed does make it to where you can't move anything under it. So that would count for objects too. So in theory, we could freeze the boat as it's sinking. That would be kind of cool. So, another thing that's kind of weird, you can boil the water and the boat's fine in that. So here, let's go ahead and go polar opposite here. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go 500 degrees Celsius. All right, so let's go extreme. Let's evaporate the water and then we're gonna refreeze it real quick. So here we go. Now everything's frozen under water. So what happens when we resume and how is stuff still on fire? Uh, okay, that's definitely a thing. Oh, it's going out. Just taking it a little bit. So, hold on. Let's uh, make it back to normal again. Whoop. Everybody goes back up. Okay, I love this new uh, feature here. This is really cool. Got a lot of awesome things you could do here. All right, here we are in the Liquids Playground map. So, we have acid, water, and lava. So, we've already kind of experimented with what water does, but what about the other two? You know, this thing looks kind of... Thick. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and get a person up here. Oh, I forgot how big this map is. And let's just go way and... Wait, what? Wait, what the... Wait, can they no longer go down and... Wait, is this even hurting them and... Uh... Huh? Oh. Oh, that looks weird. Okay, so apparently this update actually might have broken the, uh, the acid. Wait, can we change it? Let's go ahead and see. Can we maybe make the acid boil? Uh, is that... Oh, it's not doing anything. I think we're just drying out the bob. What about freezing? Can we freeze the acid? Huh? Uh, that seems to be kind of frozen. Hold on, is he a puck now? Oh, yep, he's definitely a puck. Yeah, but for whatever reason... Why is he catching on fire? Uh, have we really broken something here? Uh, okay. So, yeah, the uh, acid's actually thick now. You can't get through it. Question is, is the lava that way? Oh boy, why do I feel like this is gonna be the same thing? So if we go we and, oh! <laughs> the lava still works. All right, so this is where our experiments are gonna shift to. Let's see if we can freeze the lava. Uh, we need to get a, uh, we'll call it a test subject out. All right, so we have three subjects here. Don't ask me what happened to subject number three. He exploded for some reason. But here we go. So we'll do a normal release. We got our guy here. Let's go boom. All right, putting him in lava. Okay, and let's go back up. So this is a normal test. Oh, wow, that was something. All right, so can we change the lava? So if we go to, I don't know, let's go to negative 50 here. Is the lava, oh. The lava's still bright. Uh, okay. Oh, that definitely didn't change a thing. All right, let's go a little more extreme. Let's go negative 100. Can we change it at all? Mm, I don't think we... Uh-oh, I actually spawned another one. Oh, oh dear, I don't know what just happened. I don't think this affects it at all. So, yeah, there's definitely going to have to be some things if these uh, want to work with the environment. There's going to maybe have to be some things that have to change. 
Well, I guess we could go polar opposite. Can we go to super lava? Here we go. Boom. Oh, dear. So, yeah, this is the lava. You could just stand there and you're instantly going to pass out. Yep. Oh, yeah, this doesn't even matter. So, I guess we uh, kind of proved that the lava... Well, I don't know how cold it would be to make it freeze, but... Maybe eventually that'll be a thing, but that was cool. All right, so for the second part of this episode, I got a couple things I want to check out that I've uh, seen appear on the workshop. One is there's a Velociraptor, and yes, it's actually an NPC. Don't ask me why the brain's on the outside. So you can actually make this thing stumble, and it actually takes off running like it's in a full-blown attack mode. So what if I put a bob in front of it? Come on, bob, here we go. Uh... Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Does this... Okay. Now, he doesn't seem to be too... Too alarmed. Uh... Oh! Oh, he just bit his face! What? Bob looks just as confused as me. So, I got a question here. What if we were to combine this mod with the AI... Bob, get a hold of yourself. So, what if we were to combine this mod with the AI mod? Does it actually uh, make it to where you can make the dinosaur go berserk? All right, so here we are at this uh, nice little store, and we have two people and we have our raptor. So, question is, can we make the raptor go berserk? So, let's say go, and oh, dude, it can actually attack people now. And, oh, oh, this just made the raptor a whole lot more lethal. This guy's trying to get into the store. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. Wait. So that means that the raptor now can have all of the effects of the syringes, can't it? Uh-oh. This guy is desperately trying to get out of the store. Um, we have a bit of a problem here. Uh, the raptor's on its way. Uh-oh. Oh, he's panicking. Oh, I think he just knocked himself out partially. He's woozy. Oh, here comes the raptor. He's coming to feed. And oh, uh, oh, wait, what? Um, come on, you gotta hit him with the claws there. Oh, um, he's just kind of patting him on the head there and... Hold on. Wait for... Oh, there it goes. Dude, that is so cool. All right, so our raptor buddy is here at the lab. It's ready for some experiments. So can we actually inject the raptor? Wait, let's turn the raptor into a zombie here. So here we go. Get ready, buddy. Oh, it works. But does it actually change anything with the raptor? Uh, on. Let's keep going here. And oh, look, the raptor's actually changing into a zombie. All right, let's do that one. Uh oh, that one might have knocked him out. On huh? maybe a life syringe. And, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, so oh, there it goes. Uh, so yeah, all these syringes do apply to the raptor, which is really cool to see. So that means we can use any of the mod uh, syringes too. Here, we're gonna clear the way for the raptor real quick. There you go, buddy. And what the? What is it doing? Uh oh, I think it's very, very unhappy. Um, I think it's attempting to eat the doctor. Uh, there's a chance that we have experimented wrong on the raptor, and we should probably, uh, put this thing down. Oh! Sorry, doctor. Wait, you know what? Why would I even do that to the raptor? The raptor, we're gonna let him live a happy life. It's the stupid doctor. That was his fault. Run, raptor, be free! Oh, the raptor still seems kind of ticked off right now. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. But, man, could you imagine if we see more mods like this? Maybe we can get other animals, different things? Like, I didn't know this was actually possible in the game. But it is. And it's actually extremely awesome. Alright, put that back there. Run free, raptor. So, if you guys have any suggestions for uh, future People Playground episodes, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.